90% of bladder cancers are urothelial carcinomas, also known as transitional cell carcinomas or TCCs. They occur three times more frequently in men than women with a peak age of over 60. In the UK and worldwide, bladder cancer is the seventh most common type of cancer and in the UK it is the fourth most common type of cancer in men. Bladder cancer presents with either painless hematuria frequency, urgency and or dysuria. Dysuria means pain or difficulty passing urine. This is the typical gross appearance of a urothelial carcinoma and that is the red area. Other types of pure bladder cancer that occur include squamous cell carcinoma, adenocarcinoma and rarely small cell carcinoma. Very occasionally sarcomas may arise in the bladder. In adults the most frequent type of sarcoma is leiomyosarcoma which is a malignant tumour of smooth muscle and in children the most frequent type of sarcoma is embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma and this is a malignant tumour of striated muscle. Here is the microscopic appearance of a papillary urothelial carcinoma. The most important avoidable risk factor for urothelial carcinoma is smoking, with smokers being two to four times more at risk of developing urothelial carcinoma than non-smokers in the general population. Another important risk factor is exposure to aryl amines particularly in the dye and rubber industries. Hairdressers, painters and gas workers are also said to have a slightly increased risk of developing urothelial carcinoma. Another couple of risk factors include cyclophosphamide and analgesic abuse. Urothelial carcinomas are graded 1, 2 or 3, with 1 being the lowest grade tumours and 3 being the highest grade tumours. Grade 2 can be subdivided into low grade or high grade. The growth pattern may be papillary, solid or a mixture of the two. In addition, background urothelium may show changes of flat transitional cell carcinoma in situ and this is always a high grade change with a severe predisposition to developing an invasive cancer. The other important thing to note is that urothelial carcinomas are frequently multifocal and that is anywhere in the urinary tract covered by urothelium. So patients with urothelial carcinoma of the bladder are at increased risk of developing urothelial carcinomas elsewhere, extending anywhere from the calyces in the kidney right down to the urethra. This is an example of a grade 3 papillary urothelial carcinoma. This is a particularly aggressive subtype called a micropapillary carcinoma. This is a bladder biopsy showing flat urothelial carcinoma in situ or CIS. Pure squamous cell carcinoma arises on a background of squamous metaplasia and is the commonest type of bladder cancer in areas where schistosomiasis is endemic, particularly Egypt. Pure adenocarcinomas may arise on a background of cystitis glandularis, that is a glandular type of metaplasia, and they also can occur in the dome of the bladder from urachal remnants. As said earlier, small cell carcinoma in its pure form is a rare type of bladder cancer. And here we can see an invasive squamous cell carcinoma. To complicate matters, urothelial carcinomas 
often show divergent differentiation. So we frequently see squamous, glandular, small cell and sometimes sarcomatoid differentiation in urothelial carcinomas. Bladder cancer may be treated by transurethral resection of bladder tumour or TRBT. Chemotherapeutic agents such as mitomycin C can be instilled directly into the bladder. In some cases BCG is introduced into the bladder for treatment. The other more radical treatment is of course cystectomy and that is removal of the bladder. This is a nice example of a locally resected papillary urothelial carcinoma. Yeah.